I'm going to be unboxing the Unify 8 port PoE Switch Pro that I'll, that I'll be deploying at a local Mexican restaurant. I'll also go over some of the features and the setup process for this switch. Now the box feels pretty heavy, but it's, it's small. There's definitely an eight port switch in here. It's protected by styrofoam. There's a power cord in here and it looks like some mounting supplies. The switch has a nice sleek design, definitely fits in with the aesthetics for a small environment. And inside of the box, there were some mounting supplies. So you could actually put this switch on a table, but there are no rack ears. So you can't mount it on a 19 inch rack. It did include being able to mount it on a wall. So you could take this plate, screw this onto the wall. You could use this piece of paper as a way to uh, understand how you're going to mount it. You can plan it. Uh, be able to make sure it's very level. I'll be probably just mounting this on a table. It's got some weight to it, and that's probably because of the PoE ports that it has. So regarding the ports, there are eight PoE plus gigabit ethernet ports. There are two SFP ports here for your 10 gig needs, two SFP plus, and that's enough to support some of the multi-story campus buildings. There's a 95 watt PoE budget on this for your access points, voice phones, cameras, whatever needs PoE. Because uh, the switch runs the Unify OS, I believe it has some layer three capabilities, but I'll actually just be using it for layer two. I'll integrate it with an existing Unify controller, which will be my ultra cloud gateway. So I'll go through the setup because to configure this switch, I actually find it easiest to use the Unify mobile app and it will run through the onboarding process and also update the firmware on this switch once it's all connected to the internet. After a few minutes, the switch is ready to be configured on the unify.ui.com website. I'll unbox an access point, get some switch profiles configured for the ethernet ports. Then this restaurant will have a pretty solid network that I'll be able to take a break and probably have a burrito. So in another video, I'll go over the various settings and how it holds up at the restaurant. Here in the dashboard, I now see that the switch is fully adopted after I've gone through the app. Uh, I was able to click adopt and it updated the firmware. So even if I click into it, I can see that I have one port connected, which is going to the cloud gateway. And by default, all of these are all just trunk ports. So now what I'm going to do is set up some uh, other configuration items, but by default, this thing is ready to go. Uh, what I really want to do is set up the, the internet failover and either connect it here to get it going for management.